Okay, so in the previous video, I described running into Peter and his father and stepmother as kind of a pinnacle boiling point when I realized like, wow, this man still has a hold over me. And it wasn't, nece it wasn't necessarily that I saw it as malicious yet. <laughs> What I realized was that I need to get over this man and move on with my life um, in order for me to do and continue advancing with my goals and doing the things that I want to do. So that's kind of how I know best how to describe what happened in the months before August. Okay, there's something coming up in at the end of August that is incredibly important to the entire story. So I want, I'm gonna summarize what happened in these few months as best possible because another way I know how to describe it is really just a period of growth. So remember, I now that the campaign was over, I could full, I could like fully immerse myself into tourism, right? So I still worked for a big corporate company and I was for all intents and purposes climbing the ladder. I wrote, I wrote, like five or six different tours while I was working for the San Francisco branch of this larger tourist company, right? So I wrote about five or six different tours for them for all these different neighborhoods in San Francisco, beginning with the mission, right? Where I grew up. So that was develop that's just tourism development. Then I started working the phones and I started working operations. So that put me with more of the whole state of California. So our other big branch, the company's other big branch at the time was Los Angeles. So I was in charge of like doing operations for those two territories. And then not to get too much into all of that, but you know, operations, phones, back, uh, back story. What am I, what's the term I'm thinking of? Like, you know, you know what I mean? Back end, back end stuff of tourism, right? Uh, that's, that's what was going on. So mind you, I'm also still running tours. I'm also still a guide, mostly at this time for the bigger company, but I was running more tours for myself. I also was starting to branch out into partnering with other companies. So at this point in tour, the way my tourism business has worked, like I've told you, I run tours for myself. I've contracted with different entities, different companies, different nonprofits, and really, the way that this was working and the way the reason why I thrust myself into all of this is not only because I'm a hustler, not only because I was just leaving this campaign, but let's be real. I wanted to get distract myself and get over this guy so that I could move forward with my life. I wasn't even necessarily interested in like dating, right? Or finding anybody. I just wanted to move forward with my career. Here's the thing is that while I was distracting myself and doing everything possible to not have to think about this guy, the one thing that I was not doing was dealing with the problem and really focusing on what I needed to do to heal, to move on. And you can't do that by ignoring it. You have to confront it. It's the only thing I know how to say. So uh, again, I don't want to make this video super long because what's really important to the story is what's going to come up in the next video but in this in this series of months from mid mid march 2020 until late august my baby sister graduated from high school i took my first solo vegas trip i told you what i was doing and working in my career there were again just grind 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 hustle nose to the grindstone to distract myself and to really, I, there was almost a sense of like, let's make up for lost time, right? Obviously I'm not going to Congress. <laughs> let's build a business, let's make this money. Um, okay, so that brings us to the end of August. So the end of August is my best friend, Michelle's birthday, to be specific. This was her 30th birthday, right? So this is the big one. Um, and we had planned and discussed what she wanted to do. So we, me being her best friend, we had talked and I had a good 
idea about what she wanted to do for her birthday. Now, that's all I'll say for now, and I'm gonna hop right into it into the next video, I promise. I'm not gonna lie to you guys like last time, I promise, but again, all these details will be very important. So anyway, yeah, let's just say we did the fuck out of that, okay? We did her 30th. You'll see, you'll see how, it, how it relates to the story, everything, everything that has to do with that in the next video.